In a matter of hours, the mother of missing baby Gabriel could be set free. Elizabeth Johnson, who refuses to say what happened to her son, will face a judge for sentencing. The Tempe mom convicted of unlawful imprisonment and custodial interference charges. ABC 15's Christopher Sign has followed this story from the beginning. And Chris, there's apparently some ground rules already in place if she is released. You're right about that, Steve. And this is coming from her own family. Now, that little boy remains missing to this day. And his mom at once said that she killed the little boy. Then she changed her story, saying that she gave the little boy away. And she's going to learn tomorrow if she will now walk free. And tonight, I spoke with Elizabeth Johnson's grandfather, who said she won't be going to his house. If she should be so lucky as to get out of there, she's got to go into obscurity. She cannot come to live with me or with her brother. It's unsafe for her. It's unsafe for us. Unsafe, Bob Johnson says, because so many people don't like Elizabeth. Her son Gabriel was last seen the day after Christmas 2009. Tomorrow, Elizabeth will learn if her convictions in connection to the disappearance equal time served since she's been in jail for more than two years. Elizabeth has never faced charges such as homicide and was not convicted on kidnapping charges. She took her son to San Antonio where Gabriel vanished. And her grandfather, who talks to her often, told me, that mystery may remain unsolved. She did what she did, and whether she's paid enough for it or not, it's to be determined. I think there's a real good possibility we will never, I repeat, never know what happened. And Bob Johnson told me even though he may never see his great grandson again, he does believe that Gabriel is still alive. And Elizabeth Johnson's attorney, Mark Victor, he says the same thing. Well, it's an, a mystery that may never be answered. Hopefully, right. at some point, we'll get some answers to those questions. Absolutely. Thank you, Chris. Okay. We know you'll be in that hearing as well as 